myself and the vice chairman have taken the auditor general on this. And the key thing he said was that most of the MTAs do not, at various times, they do not present what they should have presented to him or to his office. And that's why at every point his report or the report of the Auditor General for the Federation, uh, the reports usually come in areas. But of course, uh, as a committee, we shall not, uh, this time around, we shall not entertain that at all. And that's it. That's why I insisted to the leadership that we need, this committee needs the faces you are seeing here and more of these faces because you are interfacing, or the committee shall be interfacing with um, everybody. You can imagine a committee that is empowered by law to write even the presidency and say, tell us in the last, we need your submissions in the last two, three years. The releases done to the presidency and utilization. That's heavy. And so you need strong members as well. That whoever sees the faces or hears the names, he knows that this is not a committee or member, the senators that he can he or she can toy around with. We shall be as fair as we can to all. And I had mentioned it, he had also done this to a couple of um, uh, chief executives in the pre-inauguration interactions that we had with them. If you come to us as a friend, it is Nigerian project, it belongs to all of us. But if you think you are, if you feel carried away or overwhelmed by whatever position or status you have, we will tell you, you are under constituted authority. We are not going to entertain anything that will appear to be disrespectful, or will appear to be disobedient, or will appear to be arrogant. You can, there is no arrogance before the law. We will do the best we can. And as events unfold, we shall get to hear more. My dear colleagues, particularly uh, at the moment, my senior colleague and my leader, Senator Abdul Nidi, my vice chairman, I really cannot thank you enough because you have been cooperative and you have been, you know, available. I thank you all and members of the press. I have been a dear friend of yours and I will remind you the achievement we had together. I, it was under my chairmanship of uh, House Committee on Information and National Orientation that the Freedom of Information Bill was passed into law. Please, this is a very, very sensitive committee. Whatever transpires here to your hearing, please, should be reported in such a way and manner that will not send the wrong signals out there. There shouldn't be any sensational report about this committee. Report it as it is. Otherwise, we easily generate issues where there are no issues. This is not to say I don't trust you, I trust you, I know you, you know me. So let's continue from that path that we have started. Once more, thank you very much for your presence. Mr. Vice Chairman. Thank you, my Chairman, distinguished colleagues, and uh, indeed our supporting staff. Let me thank you for honoring our invitation, uh, not minding the very short notice. 
the importance of this committee, I will not bore you with that because there are a lot that you said about it. But um, what we all shall be going on with is one thing. Our problem as a nation is corruption. Corruption, corruption, corruption. And I think that is the spirit of the Constitution in establishing this Mongol Committee. Like the chairman rightly said recently, that this committee can summon anybody that receives public funds. Therefore, as committee members, as supporting staff, count yourself lucky. Lucky not because of material benefit. You are lucky because you are part of the team that is going to rewrite the wrongs of our country, Nigeria. The president as commander-in-chief cannot do it alone because most times we push the blame to the politicians. It's our duty as civil servants, as politicians. In any capacity you find yourself in this country, you have a role to play. Therefore, this committee in the 10th Senate will do this differently. Any cobble that is into a hand of an individual or an institution that is not properly accounted for, I, as a person, will pay the street price to make sure the right thing is done. Thank you. And as we are going home, may the good Lord take us back safely on the Kumba in Jesus' name. Amen.